I read something on the internet recently that said that no one is indifferent to Manhattan-style clam chowder. They either love it or they hate it. I love New England-style clam chowder, but I can't judge Manhattan-style unless I make it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make a big pot of Manhattan-style clam chowder. I've got a large Dutch oven heating on the stove. I'm going to put one tablespoon in of butter in there and get that melted. That butter is all melted, so I'm going to add... I'm using prosciutto. You can use chopped up bacon. And I want to cook this enough just to render the bits of fat that are in there and until that prosciutto starts to change color. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low. Okay, this has started to brown a little bit, and that's good enough. As far as how much prosciutto I used, that's, that was one quarter pound, which is about 110 grams. I'm going to turn the heat off, and I'm going to pull this meat out and transfer it to a bowl, set it aside. Brought the heat back up under this pan, and I'm going to put some diced onion in there. This is um, one medium maybe medium small onion, diced kind of small. When I make a soup like this, I like to have the pieces cut kind of small. Those onions now have started to brown. That was actually five minutes. And I'm going to put some garlic in there. I have two cloves of garlic that I'm going to push through a garlic press. And there's the second one. I'm just going to stir that in and go maybe one minute just to cook that garlic a little bit. I don't want to overcook that garlic because it'll start to get bitter. Then I'm going to add two stalks of celery diced and two medium carrots diced. And I'm going to sweat, which means to just cook until they start to release their moisture and their flavor. I'm going to sweat these for about, oh, three to five minutes. These have been cooking for a few minutes. Now, I'm going to add potatoes. The recipe I'm working from says two large potatoes, like two large Yukon Gold. What I had is this bag of little round potatoes, so I cut those up. I'm going to use those instead. That'll work. So any two large potatoes, russets if you want. And then I'm going to add the juice of two cans of clams. These are baby clams. And the cans are 10 ounces total weight each and they typically are five ounces of liquid which what is that well let me get this in there and then i'll look at the metric it's typically five ounces of liquid of clam broth and then five ounces of clam so five ounces is 142 grams So a 10 ounce can would be, what does that say, 283 grams. Okay, so there's the juice. And while that's coming up to the boil, I'm going to throw in a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme and a bay leaf. And stir all that in and let that come up to a boil. This is just now coming up to the boil. So I'm going to reduce the heat back down again. I had raised it up to bring this to a boil. I'm going to bring it down to near low. Put a lid on this pan and then let this cook for about 15 minutes to cook those potatoes. At least get them partially cooked. All right, this has had a chance to cook now for 15 minutes. And this is where New England clam chowder and Manhattan-style clam chowder differ. 
Manhattan style clam chowder uses tomatoes. I'm going to crush some tomatoes in here. I have a 28 ounce can of tomatoes, which is 794 grams, about 800 grams of tomatoes. All right, there's the tomatoes in there. One more in the can. And then I'm going to put the puree in there and wash my hand. All right, I'm going to stir those in, bring the heat back up to medium, medium high. And again, bring this pot to the boil. This is now just starting to come up to the boil again. So I'm going to put the lid back on that and cook that for about 10 more minutes, reducing the heat to low so or medium low to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. This is done as far as the major part of the cooking. Now, I'm going to add the clams now to the chowder. If you're using the large clams, you'll want to chop those up into smaller pieces. I'm using baby clams. And then put the prosciutto back in. That's my cooked prosciutto. And then finally, grate some black pepper in there. I think clam chowder is delicious with black pepper in it. Gonna bring the heat back up to medium. And then bring this back up to a boil just till it start, starts to simmer. I know it's gonna need some salt. So I'm gonna put a good pinch of salt in there. Stir that in. And then, that having returned to a boil, I'm going to put the lid back on, turn the heat off, and set a timer for 30 minutes. Because by letting it sit for a while, that helps the flavors to come together and mature. So here it is, my first bowl ever of Manhattan style clam chowder. Before serving it, you want to fish out the bay leaf and those um, thyme sprigs. You can garnish that with a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. And then, of course, put some oyster crackers in there. And that is ready to taste. I'm kind of excited about this because I've never made... Manhattan style clam chowder before. It's good. Well, it's got nice flavor to it. It's different. Tomato soup base, which I love tomato soup. That is a good bowl of clam chowder. Which do I like better? New England style or Manhattan style. Right now it's too difficult to decide. This is just good. So excuse me, I'm going to enjoy an um, afternoon bowl of Manhattan style clam chowder.